This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. Saturday afternoon, August 15th, 1970. Despite the light rain that had been falling all morning, the people of Riverside, New York, are enjoying the warm summer weather. <laughs> Unknown to anyone at that time, a hellstorm of heavy metal was rock and rolling its way towards catastrophe at the High Street Viaduct in the sleepy little village in New York's southern tier. Erie Lackawanna Freight Train, New England 97, had left New Haven, Connecticut earlier in the day and was headed to Chicago. The only thing that stood in between them, Riverside, New York. Passing of trains across High Street Viaduct has been happening since November 1952. Eighteen years later, on August 15, 1970, it was business as usual at the box factory, the lunch counter, and the corner store in the immediate vicinity of the overpass. Traffic was thin on Route 415, the main two-lane road between Corning and Painted Post, mostly due to the fact that it was one of the last remaining Saturdays of the summer, and anyone who could get away for the weekend would rather spend it at the Finger Lakes than to be in town, even if it was raining. Also located near the High Street Viaduct was Snyder's Grocery Store, the Fiber Box Company, and a small lunch counter. On the opposite side of the embankment is the home of Robert Shelley. The Shelleys, along with their neighbors at the restaurant, the box factory, and Snyder's grocery store will soon be brought to the edge of disaster because bearing down on Riverside is Erie Lackawanna Train, New England 97. NE 97 originated out of New Haven, Connecticut, and is headed west to Meadville, Pennsylvania, Marion, Ohio, and Chicago, Illinois. After entering the ex Erie Railroad at Port Jervis, NE-97 arrives Binghamton and picks up cars from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Unknown to the crew, they have also picked up a defective freight car. WCLI FM Hornet. <laughs> tell you not much of a breeze out there today, everybody. Just more rain. Looks like it's going to continue through tonight, according to the chief meteorologist, Stormy Meredith. The latest reports indicate more rain and humid the rest of this afternoon. Temperatures in the mid-80s. Tonight it'll be 74. Right now at the WCLI FM studios on First Street, 84 degrees. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Shannon. For Saturday, warm and humid with times of clouds and sunshine. A thunderstorm is possible, high 85. This is meteorologist Stormy Meredith for WCLI. WCLI FM News Time is 1.35. I'm Mike Shannon. Well, a new issue of Billboard magazine is out today, and I was looking at their top 100 list. I see that Led Zeppelin II has made it to number 83. I don't think it'll be very long before people catch on to just how great a band this is, and tonight's your chance to see them as they kick off their first show, the North American Summer Tour, at Yale University. And if you can't catch them tonight in New Haven, you'll have 18 more chances to see them around the country uh, in Canada before the tour winds down at Madison Square Garden in New York City on September 19th. So if you love Led Zeppelin, you'd better hurry because the tour in the summer is going fast. Here's Bad Finger. Come and get it.
on the ties. This is the wreck scene with most of the wreckage. Two to three sixty. I wanna relate that to the city guys. 